Welcome to our Detroit News High School football preview of the Oakland Act Activities Association. And Tom, three divisions, but three very tough divisions, and this might be one of the better top-to-bottom conferences in the state. I think so. You got Clarkston, Lake Orion in the red. Also, some sleepers there would be Troy Athens, I think is a real solid third. The more balanced division is the white division. We have Farmington, Farmington Hills, Harrison, Rochester, Adams, Southfield, Oxford, and really the bottom half of that division is not that bad. You have North Farmington who made the playoffs last year, yep. moving from the blue into the white, and they're going to be on the bottom of the white, and they were at the top of the blue last year. So, you know, uh, Todd Schultz, the head coach there, you know, he's happy with his team. They made the playoffs, but the bad news, they're playing in the white. Very competitive, and speaking of the blue division, I really like Losser there. They're usually the cream of the crop. Mm -hmm. uh, a little down last year. I, li I like them better this year. And uh, w uh, as a second place team, I like Auburn Hills, Avondale. Teams like Ferndale, Berkeley, who notoriously are, are decent teams that sometimes make the playoffs a little down this season. So you say Clarkston, Southfield, and then in the blue is uh yeah, Clark, I like Clarkston, and I like Southfield to win the white, but it's going to be tougher for Southfield just because of the balance there. I don't see anybody in the white going undefeated in that season. Well, great point there. There are three divisions. Uh, we'll see probably, what, five, six teams that are going to the state playoffs, maybe more? Uh, I think, yeah, close to seven, perhaps. It depends on, you know, you get a strong team like Clarkston and Lake Orion, obviously you're going to get there. Troy Athens opens with Warren Mott. No, they don't win that game. They could be looking at a five and four season. But there, definitely you get the preparation for the ins and outs, the road games, uh, and the, the strength of schedule that you get from the OAA is definitely going to prepare all of these teams. And a little different this year. Ninth week is the crossover week. Usually was the eighth week, so you have crossover games. Lake Orion and Clarkston in the eighth week. Then they have, you know, the champion from each division will cross over against each other. So the ninth week will be obviously interesting to see who, who matches up there. And of course that move is made so Lake Orion and Clarkson don't end up playing each other two weeks in a row as they've done in the past yes, when they get they to the have. state playoffs. I think they were in on that committee. <laughs> For Tom Markowski, this is Rod Beard, and that is your Oakland Activities Association preview.